relocations, but are concentrating on 99th U.S. Division. We are here with Team 1 Intercept and Analysis Patrol. Team 1 Direction Finding is here on this hill about a kilometer away. Team 2 Intercept and Direction Finding is here. Team 3 is here. These are the best positions we have had on the Americans for a month. Everything should come in very clear. Looks very good. With these positions, our direction finding station should get accurate bearings. Watch them and keep me informed, especially if you have any problems. Major. You have something, Petrov? Yes, sir. That battalion that we've been trying to identify at frequency 57.5 megahertz, that's a third of 58. You're sure? Yes, sir. The, the same operator. The one who says, that's it for you all before going on. And he still talks to his friend. This is the third of the 58 mechanized infantry. You've identified them before, sir. Let's just say we know them very well. They don't know us, but we know them. Or what's left of them, though they've probably been reinforced. The last time we were in contact with them, we were able to penetrate their command net with an order to divert an entire company. After that, it was like shooting ducks from a blind. Yes, sir. That unit easy to exploit. Very little restraint on usage of radio. And that's about it, gentlemen. Any questions about the operation that I can answer for you right now? Now, I'd like to introduce Captain Moreland. Russell, isn't it? Yes, sir. It took a couple of months, but we finally have gotten ourselves a CE officer. I've asked him to tighten up on all CE procedures, especially our communication securities and usage of effective electronic counter-counter measures. The word from G2 is that the electronic warfare people on the other side are extremely active, and I might add, too damned effective. Can't see anything from Checkpoint Juliet. Request permission to proceed three kilometers east on Highway 47. Over. Sir, I is that scout platoon from the 44th? They're on the move again. This is Quebec 28. Send your message. Over. Have you heard anything on our fuel request? Over. This is Kilo 2 Niner. I'm waiting for a message. We'll inform you as soon as I receive it. Out. What is your ETA at the rendezvous point? Over. This is Mike 44. My ETA is 1316. I don't have more problems. Out. Orlovsky here. Action. An intercept on frequency 38.2 megahertz indicates possible concentration building up. Right now we don't have location. Have the other teams put operators on that frequency and get direction finding fixes as soon as possible. for the enemy to hear them. Sir, I know it was jamming. I went through all the routine procedures. Disconnecting the antenna, checking connections on the set. Besides, it only appeared in bursts when it was actually received by one of our recon patrols. So what'd you do about it? Fill out a major report, sir, just like I'm supposed to. I mean, what did you do about operating? I worked through it. Suppose you hadn't been able to. Sir, there's almost always a way. Adjustments in power, asking for repeats, changing antenna orientation, it might have taken a while, but I would have made one way or another. Uh, Lima 1-6, this is Delta 2-4. Yeah, that's it for y'all. Out. So what part of the south are you from, Buckland? The deep south, Sarge. Can you tell? Yeah, I sure can. You know, and so can the enemy when you end all your transmissions by saying, that's it for y'all. Oh, come on, Sarge. Them four little words ain't gonna hurt nobody. 
Maybe it could only get you killed. Look. Once you've been identified as belonging to a certain unit, now each time you transmit, you identify your unit by personal signs or, or mannerisms. You defeat the whole purpose of changing call signs and frequencies. Okay, now you gotta get those interference reports in fast. Because they're intelligence for our combat electronic warfare and intelligence people. Now who are doing their own listening, identifying and direction finding. Now it may only be bits and pieces, but it helps to complete the picture and it adds up to target data when the time comes. Interference reports moves through channels in a hurry to the people who can do something about them. Further information will be passed on as soon as it becomes available. Now, keeping you pretty busy? Yes, sir. You see your log, please? It's routine, sir. Report, supply, request, the usual. Two minutes, two minutes, four and a half minutes, three minutes. Private, do you have any idea how long it can take the enemy to direction find you and put rockets and artillery fire right down your throat? Not exactly, sir. I'll tell you. About three minutes. You've been transmitting a lot of these three and four minute routine messages. Here's one that took five minutes. Well, I just pass what they give me, sir. I understand. Just remember to keep off that radio, keep the chatter down, and make your transmission short when you do use it. Walker, come out here. Yes, yeah, sir. Now, Walker, we listened to everybody last night, and several times you didn't authenticate when you should have. Only when I knew who I was talking to. When you thought you knew who you were talking hey, to. Hey, sir. No. Okay. Let's start from the top. Now, when did you authenticate? When the net opens and closes. When I receive an order. And when I get a request for information. And? I don't know. You authenticate any time there's the slightest doubt about the authenticity of your contact. They aren't just listening over there. They're looking for a chance, any chance to get into the net, to, to file things up, confuse things, issue false orders, you name it. Our authentication system is one of the best defense weapons we've got. Now use it. Line Golf, Red 6. Line Hotel, Amber 2. Line India, Green 1 4. Break. Lieutenant. Wait. Yes, sir. What's the priority of that message? Routine, sir. Combat status report. Terminate it, please. Quebec 2 1. This is Mike 3 2. Disregard this transmission. Out. Lieutenant. If you want the enemy to receive that report, why not just send it to him by messenger? Sir? Well, you might just as well. He may be getting it all anyway. You've got messengers, and you've got wire. Why are you using your radio for that type of message, especially when it's that long? Sir, the radio was available, so I didn't think... When, huh? When are you people going to get it through your skulls that your radios aren't personal telephones? Now, just because the net is open and you've authenticated your contact does not mean that you can just gas on about anything once you've transmitted your message. Now, every word you say, even just the fact that you're saying it is combat intelligence to the enemy, and you think they're going to use it to help us? Now, when you get on the air, you get off again as soon as you can. Now, that's SOP, and that's the way we're going to do it. The CEOI for the operation will be issued immediately after this meeting. Time period number one will begin at 1900, when, as the S3 tells us, we begin to move up to attack positions. The radio listening silence ordered by the commander will start at 0500 on D-Day, at which time our intelligence and electronic warfare people take over. So Captain Wagner, who is an electronic warfare officer, has joined us from our electronic warfare support unit. He will assist us with our electronic counter-countermeasure effort. Specifically, he'll help devise a manipulative electronic deception plan. As you know, this plan generally calls for the use of some of our CE assets to mislead the enemy as to our true location and tactical intentions just prior to our attack. Captain?
We've worked out a manipulative electronic deception plan with the G3, which should make it easier for us and give the enemy a hard time. When we move up to attack positions tonight, you'll be listening and trying everything in the book to break up our communications. Barrage jamming, spot jamming, imitative deception, and so on. And when he does, we'll locate his jammers by direction finding, pass the information on to targeting, and take them under fire. It's a real team effort. Your part tonight, so you go on listening silence before H-hour, is to maintain tight communication security, proper electronic counter-counter measures, stay off your radios as much as possible, and report interference promptly. When you go on listening silence, create a dummy talk, and begin using dummy transmissions with your old call signs and frequencies from stations that will stay in place. It will sound like normal traffic before a move, the enemy won't know that you're already on the way. Alpha 2 Delta, this is Alpha 2 Delta 28, to syndicate Bravo Lima, over. Alpha 2 Delta 28, this is Bravo 0 Foxtrot 27, I authenticate Hotel. Sounds like the opening a net on 57.8 megahertz, sir. Four stations so far. Here too, sir, at 42.9 megahertz. Three stations and still opening. They could be preparing to move. Yes, sir. Can you identify the unit? Could be the third of the 58, sir. Some of the voices sound very familiar, but I can't identify them positively. How about you, Vasily? Can't tell yet, sir. Keep listening. Let's say it is the third of the 58. But who else is moving? And where to? We can assume then if they move... We can assume anything, but we don't have to. They will tell us themselves. Still one way or another. This is Charlie 4-2. All elements have departed assembly area at this time. Over. Charlie 4-2, this is Delta C-6. Roger, understand. Report clearing checkpoint. Foxtrot and Tango. Over. Charlie 3-1, this is Alpha 1-0. Uh, I seen you on this checkpoint Delta. Can you help me? Over. Alpha 1-0, this is Charlie 3-1. Where are you? Over. Uh, Charlie 3-1, this is Alpha 1-0. Uh, I'm about 500 meters north of the bridge, by the church, at the bottom of the hill. Over. Sir? target data, pre-register target point at P Delta 105064, right 064, APC's estimate platoon strength arriving three minutes, also recommend jamming at 37.6 and 45.4 megahertz, good. This is it, take the left four. Coordinates in the battalion of the flesh. I'm at coordinates. Hotel, Lima, three, four, six, two, niner, four. Incoming artillery, approximately 1,000 meters to my rear. I'll get in touch with second platoon. Alpha one zero, this is Charlie three one, over. That's Jimmy, sir. I know. Alpha 1-0, this is Charlie 3-1. Wait. Out. Is that message ready? Yes, sir. Quebec 2-8, this is Romeo 1-9-er. Flash. 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 Over. B Company, sir, with a flash. Romeo 1-9-er, this is Quebec 2-8. Over. Pop the antennas. Turn off your scouts and tell them to send it again. Yes, sir. Romeo 1-9-er, this is Quebec 2-8. Say again, over. Quebec 2-8, this is Romeo 1-9-er. Flash, flash, flash. 1, 4, 0, 1, 
Zulu. Can you hear anything through the jamming? No, sir. The jam is too close to us. I wonder if Romeo 19 is getting through. Well, I might be able to tell by what they say, but not until the jam goes out. Stay with them then and let me know. Yes, sir. Alpha 3 X-ray 46, this is Lima Niner Kilo 1-1. Negative contact your station. Out. Men, if we act quickly, we'll have an opportunity to penetrate C Company's net. They've become electronically isolated. They're not acknowledging calls to them. Now, here is the way we'll do it. Petrov, you call C Company, acting as battalion operations. Call sign Lima 14. You, Vasily, call B Company, using C Company's call sign Foxtrot 34. Now, listen to me carefully. If we can get C Company, and they will accept a change in orders, we'll move them to those coordinates, which is a pre-registered target for the 98th Rocket Battalion. Proceed. Get C Company. Kilo 1-1, one one. this is Lima 1-4. Over. Lima 1-4, this is Kilo 1-1. One one. Over. Kilo 1-1, one one. this is Lima 1-4. I have orders for Whiskey you. Whiskey 8-2, Over. this is Foxtrot 3-4. Over. Uh, Foxtrot 3-4, uh, this is Whiskey 8-2, over. Lima 1-4, this is Kilo 1-1. One, one. Authenticate Echo Golf, over. Kilo 1-1, one, one. this is Lima 1-4. I authenticate. Wait, I've got a problem. Echo Golf. Whiskey 8-2, this is Foxtrot 3-4. Authenticate Echo Golf, over. Foxtrot 34, this is Whiskey 82. I authenticate Yankee, over. Yankee. Kilo 11, one, one. this is Lima 14. I authenticate Yankee, over. Lima 14, this is Kilo 11. One, one. Your authentication was too slow. Authenticate November Juliet, over. November Juliet. Quebec 28, this is Kilo 11. One, one. I think a bogey station tried to enter our net at 2305 hours. The calling station could not authenticate correctly. Major report will be submitted by secure means ASAP. Over. Bravo 67, this is Delta 14. All elements report arrival at forward locations. Over. Sir? There's been absolutely nothing. I've been on 45.4 or 37.6 megahertz since I logged this last one on 0056, 19 minutes ago. That means they've changed time periods. Probably at 0100. New frequencies, new call signs. Orlovsky here. Yes, sir, we know that. 42.1 megahertz. Yes, we'll try that. Uh, anything on the company's net? It's not much to go on, but we'll try that too. Yes, sir, as soon as we have something. All right. They've got jammers in these sectors. And they'll crank them up once we begin our dummy electronic deception transmission. So they could stay put long enough for us to direction find and target them. Uh, Captain Howard's people, along with their own intelligence recon reports, shows that their direction finding stations in roughly these positions. Uh, they'll be taken out by airstrike. Our intelligence says the Radio Electronic Combat Company headquarters is here, just below the crest of Hill 460. BNC batteries of the 64th will take it out. We go on listening silence at 0500. We move out at 0530. Your people have their orders? Listening silence unless there's an emergency and disregard any transmission unless it's preceded by a code word. And they can break silence once they reach their objectives. Our dummy transmissions will start at 0500. Don't slowly in a pattern that indicates a move starting at 0600. At which time we should be overrunning their forward elements. Also require POL resupply and additional four miles of comma wire. ASAP. Over. Tango 3-4, this is Bravo 6-2. Roger. Resupply elements, they're all ready and ready. Over. Traffic is picking up a little. Bravo 6 Very good. This Keep me advised. Three, Intelligence four, thinks right. they may be preparing to move. Report when elements are prepared to move out. Over. 
control station of their command operations net appears to be at 48.1 megahertz, which could be their tactical operations center. Traffic indicates they may be preparing to attack, recommend targeting, and jamming. Affirmative. Move on order this headquarters. Zero, zero, five. Elements will maintain light Bearing. and noise discipline. Two, three, seven. Support elements Bearing. prepared for additional requirements. Three, Not later than zero, eight. six, one, five hours. Over. Execute fire mission on those jammers in the radio electronic combat center. To win the first battle, our combat forces must be capable of bringing decisive combat power to bear against the enemy. Our communications electronic systems are the most sophisticated in the modern world, provide an essential element of combat power. Used properly, they will provide a rapid, flexible, and reliable means of command and control of the combat force. Your use of electronic equipment places you in the front lines of the electronic battlefield. And your skill at using and protecting these critical systems will be decisive in battle. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and consider becoming a Patreon member for the ASP. Please check out the ASP Patreon page.